This is Doug Varnberg and welcome back to another set of tips and tricks and today I'm going to tell you probably one of the features that's the most awesome in these units to help you learn more, share more, and get assistance when you need it. It's probably one I most overlook but it's one I use all the time and it's the screen capture and the re sonar recording features and I'm going to jump in here and I'm going to show you how to do it on the Helix which is going to be the same for the Core Series owners 8, 9, 1100 series and the Helix 9, 5, 7, 9, 10 and 12 and the Onyx. We're going to show you both setups so you can save those screen captures takes an image of what you see on the screen or you can do sonar recordings that you can play back later and you can share these screen captures like on social media you can share them on help forms and get assistance and even share them to Humminbird if you have a question about what you're seeing on your unit. We're sitting here with the Helix 10. Uh, what you need to do is you need to get you a blank SD card. It's just a generic SD card that you can buy from your local big box store, computer store. I like this SanDisk brand Extreme 3 because it has the, a fast read write speed and I see a lot better performance and reliability. I've already got one in the unit here. So what we're going to do is we're going to hit menu button twice. It's going to come up here and if you scroll over to where those boxes are, that's going to be your accessories. This is going to be the network tab. If you don't have them networked, it's the farthest one on the right. And you come down here and you see the screenshot off or on. You turn it on and then you come here and just for example the GPS screen I'm going to hit the mark key and I have saved a screen capture. Waypoint S0188 S stands for snapshot. Uh, you can do it on any view, you can do it on the water or on land like this I'm doing here in the garage today but what you need to do is if you hit exit you'll see the screen snapshot view. Right there is that snapshot I took and I can hit it exactly the same thing. Now on the Helix and Core series it says it is a PNG file and you can still view that on your computer. You can upload it to the, to the internet and share with social media and places like that. You can share these favorite spots or you can actually save it and on the unit when you go back to that waypoint it's going to have that screen snapshot there. But one other quick thing while we're on this screen if you hit menu here, you can start doing a sonar recording. If you start recording, it's going to show you how much data down here, but it's going to show you it will save the sonar, the 2D, the down imaging, 360, not 360, not on this, the 360s on the Onyx. But it will do the sonar recording of everything that you're doing, just raw data, just like you did it. You can come back and you can play those recordings in your unit and look at those places that you missed while you're out on the water or or create the best create a good screen snapshot one of the things I like with recordings is it allows you to go in here when you're playing them back is to adjust the settings and learn how to do the settings so I would highly recommend doing you some recordings play with your unit when you're off the water that'll help you get uh, more familiar with your unit and then you can spend your precious time on the water catching fish instead of playing with your unit right there when I move my cursor on that waypoint, it shows that screen snapshot that I took. So if you save a piece of structure on a waypoint, if you save it as a screen snapshot, you can go down to it, boom, and it's going to pop up on the screen and show you what was there. So you don't have to remember. You can just move around the waypoint and say, hey, I want to look at this piece of structure. What was that? Boom. I can see a screen capture of it. Great tool. Check it out. Start using it. Share your share you some images. We all love seeing what everybody finds around the world underneath the water surface from these hummingbirds. Okay, we're now here with the hummingbird onyx, and I'm going to show you how to do a screen capture on it. Now, what you want to do is you need to get you a blank SD card like before. But I'm going to show you one thing before we do that. We're going to go to the home screen, and we're going to come down here to images. And it's going to show you the screen capture save locations. You got in, you can save it in the internal. You can save it SD card one is our map card. So I'm going to put this in card slot two. And you'll watch. It will recognize that card. And we can select it there. 
So now, say we want to save a screen capture of this. The go to button's also got a camera icon on it. That's all you need to do is you push and hold it. And this is going to save it as a JPEG image, much like a digital camera. You can actually import JPEGs if you'd like to uh, in this unit. You can see your pretty face on the unit if you would like to. Uh, that's how you save an image on here. Now, you can look at SD card 2, and we're going to see the image that we took right here up at the top. These are other images that I've got on here. That's all it is to save you a screen snapshot on an Onyx. On the Onyx, saving a recording is going to be a little bit different. You're going to use your widgets down here at the bottom. You're going to come over here. You'll see the recording on the bottom left here. We're going to select it. You can see my previous recordings, the source of the where the data is going to go, and the record sonar menu. So you just hit select that. This will start recording. Now with the Onyx, we can come down here and re and select which sources we want. We can do 360 side imaging, down imaging, or 2D sonar as the types of data that it's going to do, plus it's going to do GPS, location. Um, you can s choose where you want to save the location. To start the recording, you just tap it there or hit start, and it started. You'll watch the red light blink up here. That's telling you that the sonar recording is being recorded. We're out of the water, so we're not getting any sonar data. But that's how you do it on an Onyx. You can do the same thing with sharing these, and I'm going to go in and I'll show you how to do it on the computer here. Okay, once you get home, you can take your SD card. I have a SD card slot in this laptop, or you can buy a USB uh, SD card reader that uh, will read your SD card. You're going to close that there. Um, I'm in Windows 10 and what you're going to do is find your card drive and like I've got SD my E drive is going to be that these are all kinds of pictures in here uh, Onyx makes it simple because it's going to be done by the date so if we look up here 0131 that's today and there's our screen capture from today so I can save that to my computer if I want to, but say I want to go to Facebook, I can click here, just minimize this, um, come over here, type in Facebook and it should come up there. And you just go to your add photos. We'll come down here to our E drive. And we'll go to our O1. Right there it is. Type you a little message in there. Hit post and you are got your favorite screen capture just now put on the uh, Facebook. So that's an easy way to do that on Facebook if you want to share on social media. I'm going to leave this page. I'm going to show you one other thing is uh, what I use to host a lot of them is photobucket.com. Photobucket is a picture hosting service. Uh, you can get it no charge. Okay, when you get in here to Photoshop or to Photobucket, you can uh, click on library. It's taking a little bit. I'm on a wireless air card right now, so... And I, and I create albums, so, um, for my different types of images, since this one's Onyx, um, I've got Onyx over here as an album. What I'll do, what you can do is click to upload. You can upload an image. You can see i got a bunch of images. But say you wanted this image right here. We're just going to do a quick example. Come over here to your image URL if you're posting in the groups 
uh, like web forms and that stuff, uh, like Bass Boat Central, uh, some of the message forms out there. You can click on that, copy that right there, post that in your message, and it'll post this picture right in the right in your message on that group, and you can share it, and it'll help people help you and you know help you with settings, what you're doing right, what you're doing wrong. Uh, if you got things going right, if you got a question, you can do that. Uh, you can attach these pictures to an email to Humminbird if you have a question about something. Uh, pictures help make it so much easier to see what you're seeing. Uh, you can describe all you want, but uh, a little picture will help us analyze what's going on, uh, what you need to do if, you, if you're doing great, if you're not. Uh, we'll give you some suggestions, but uh, just post your pictures, and we'll help you. Thank you for tuning in to another set of tips and tricks. And I hope that helped you learn how to use the screen snapshot feature on the Humminbirds and also how to do sonar recordings. Those are two awesome tools that I forget to explain a lot of times because it's something I use every day, and I don't think about others getting the most out of them, but I've been helping a lot of people, and that is one of the things they ask because they've been taking a picture with their phone and a lot of times you can't see real good what's on the image by a phone picture. A screen capture is going to help tremendously to see what actually works, what you're seeing on your unit. You can use it to share with other friends. If you follow me on Facebook, you'll know that I share a lot of screen captures because it's really cool what these things can show you. But you can also get assistance from others. If you've got a question, we can see what you're seeing on your unit real quick and easy by taking a screen capture, screen snapshot, or take a little video. Uh, just take a 30 second a minute video and we can see exactly what's happening on your unit and get you going in the right direction and make sure that you're enjoying them as much as I enjoy them and catching memories like that big old dog I had. Thank you for tuning in to another set of tips and tricks and tune in next time as we go more in depth about these awesome products. Thank you.